Hey everybody, Mike D here. Welcome to the program. Y'all that watch Lunkerville know us as an easygoing show. We just like going out there with family and friends and catching fish and we're, you know, we don't take ourselves too seriously. But sometimes on that rare occasion, you get skunked. And getting skunked stinks. It's no fun at all. And sometimes it gets a little desperate. And that's what this episode's all about. This story starts out like any other Lunkerville. We packed up the truck in New York City and took off on the road to good intentions and fishing fun. Unfortunately, somewhere along the ride, we took a wrong turn. It seems in every town in America that there's a secret fishing spot where the water runs clear and the bass are always biting. And at that spot, there's an unsung hero who knows every stump, lay down in lily pad. Seems all he's got to do is wet a line. <laughs> and sure enough, he's reeling in a big bass. So if you're looking for real people with real fish stories, then hop a ride. We're going to Lunkerville. Welcome to the program. We're here with Noel Good. He's no good, that's what people say, and we're on Lake Erie. And it's got kind of like an urban landscape here. We're kind of familiar with at uh, Central yeah. Park, but this is quite a bit bigger than Central Park Lake. It's almost like an ocean. Tell us a little bit about Lake Erie. Well, it's uh, probably the shallowest of all the, the Great Lakes. It can, uh, storms can whip up the water in a hurry and make for some dangerous conditions. Uh, but besides that, it's one of the top smallmouth bass fisheries in the world. Uh, it's on a bad day, you'll, you'll catch maybe 10, 20 fish, and a third of them will be approaching four pounds or better, uh, and a couple over five. You, you, you cursed us there. So you're saying, <laughs> oh, yeah. if it's a bad day, we're gonna catch 10 or 20 <laughs> fish, and they're gonna be four or five pounds. This is so familiar. It happens every time. The curse of Lunkerville. This was an opportunity for me to do something, to reverse the curse. But what did I do? What did I do? All right, man, let's go. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Awesome. Rock and roll. I could have burned a little incense, a little whammy, a little hocus pocus, something. You know what? I decided I don't believe in that crap. Curses. What are you kidding me? I'm a positive guy. Lunkerville, it's a very positive show. And you know what? I'm the host, man. I know how to fish. I can catch some fish. And I'm with no good. He has all sorts of records out there, hundreds of GPS locations. What, what am I doing throwing all this negative energy in there? Who believes in stupid curses, man? Well, that wasn't too bad. No, not bad at all. That was really smooth, actually. I've uh, I've making that trip where it's taken an hour and a half. Really? So that trip right there, hour and a half, it took like ten minutes. Yep. Because of the waves. Because of the waves. Oh boy. Sometimes you get in waves out here where you can't see past the wave in front of you. Tell me a little <laughs> bit about where we are. Okay. Uh, this is a big spawning flat right here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an irregular uh, main lake ledge that kind of skirts this whole area and we're gonna kind of follow this around. Hopefully Great. catch up some pre-spawners. Nice. So Noel, what are we starting out with? Well, I'm gonna start out with a drop shot rig. Uh, it's calm enough right now where we don't have to throw out a drift sock and, and, and drift fish. So I can cast this drop shot around and, and probe for fish that way. A lot of times I like just to cast it out and uh, move it ever so slowly along the bottom. Drag it? Uh, yeah, drag it or just kind of Kind of shake it and let the ball come towards you. Okay. A lot of times, the less movement, the better. You just want that bait just kind of fluttering on the bottom in, okay. in one place. How deep is it here? It's about 18 feet right here. I'll have to keep looking at the GPS from time to time to see where I am out here. <laughs> so it seems like the GPS would be pretty important here. 
It's very important, it's your eyes. The water we traveled from Buffalo to this point is all fishable water. We didn't get in anything over 40 feet deep and it's all fishable water. There's, there's humps and rock piles and, and ditches and gullies and all kinds of stuff. And if you find something one day without a GPS, you'll probably never get back to it. So this is a spot that you've marked before? Yep, yep, I caught fish here last weekend. Uh, the biggest one out here last weekend came from this general area. Um, my dad and I actually fished it three weeks ago and there were good, good numbers of fish here, so it seemed like a pretty productive area. What are you snag there? What are you doing? I think we caught some bait. Ooh! There's a Lake Erie round goby. This is what the, the fish like to feed on right here. It's a good sign. Good sign. There's bait. Bait in the area. The goby. Where there's goby, there are bass. Don't you go anywhere. Lunkerville will be right back. Welcome back to the program. When we last left you, we were with Noel Good on Lake Erie, and he invoked this Lunkerville curse. And not that I believe in that. I don't, I don't believe in that, but it's when the guest says we're gonna catch all these big fish and then we go out fishing and we're not really catching anything. Well, it's been like an hour, maybe two, and we caught one little fish, but uh, still waiting for that big eerie smallie. Got plenty of time left. Doggone, come on fish. <laughs> Why don't you tell me about that curse before I said something? What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> So why don't you tell me about the curse before I said something? The curse, the curse, it always happens this way. You know, I've guessed they come on and they're like, you're gonna catch 20 fish, 30 fish, and then there's tough fishing. I mean, it's just the curse of the camera. But you know, I'm confident you're gonna put us on fish. It's, if it was so easy, it wouldn't be the challenge. And you know, that's the drama of the story, man. It's not easy to catch fish. We're not kids out here in a pond, right? So we're out there fishing hard. We're throwing drop shots, we're dragging tubes, we're throwing spoons, but we're not getting a bite, you know? It's, it's, it's tough out there. And then I realized that Shannon, our producer, and Noel's father are behind us. You see him back there? They're not shooting. He's supposed to be shooting video of us, but they have lines in the water and they're fishing, so they must be spooking the fish. They shouldn't be doing that. They should be working. Wait, what is that? He doesn't have a fish on. You know, this isn't right. This is not cool. Someone's calling me. Goldman Shannon. I'm sure he's calling to hassle me. What? <laughs> Do we need some help over here? Ha ha, he catches one fish. He's a big man. <laughs> yeah. Big man. Get a shot of him now because he's not going to catch any more fish. He gets so cocky after one catch. Big man, big man. He's lucky. You think that's bad? It gets a lot worse. Quickly. What are they doing that we're not doing? Oh, this is adding insult to injury. 19 inch, four and a half pounds. Yeah, it's a good leg. You're taking our fish, man. That's sad. Yeah, I can't catch a fish. Shannon, the guy who can't even freshwater fish, he's sitting there eating his sandwiches, drinking beer. He's on this other boat catching fish left and right. That's sad. 
It is. <laughs> okay, whatever. There's a curse. I mean, what other explanation? Shannon's catching a 4.6 pound smallie. We're catching nothing except gobies. We're out of there. I mean, what else can we do? Don't you go anywhere. Lunkerville will be right back.